Hello, welcome you all. Now we are going to develop a project for volume control using Python and OpenCV. Now we are going to see the output of this project. I am showing my hand like this. So now I am increasing, decreasing the volume. We can see the volume is decreased and increasing the volume. So now we can see the volume is getting increased. Volume level is 70, 80, 100. Now I am decreasing it. So it is also decreased. Now I am increasing it. It is increasing. So if it is enough, we can move our hand. Now I play one video and show this. Now I have opened our video, one of our uh, sand new projects called video. Now we can see the volume. So this is the webcam object. We are, we are going to use the read function. We will give two values. We need the image, the first value and the second. We are going to develop this project in our PyCharm editor. You need to install the PyCharm for doing this project. Go to the browser and search for PyCharm download. And go to this website www.jetbrains.com. Open this website. You will get this page. From this page, click the download button to download the software. After downloading this, you can install this. This is a community edition, it's free. So you can download and install, install in your own computer. After installing, we can open this PyCharm. Now, we are going to install three libraries for our project. First one is OpenCV Python, import CV2. This is our first library. Import media pipe as MP. We are going to use media pipe as a shortcut MP and import pi auto GUI. First, we need to install this library. I have installed it. If you have not installed, it will show error in this lines. To install a library, go to file and go to settings. Here, we need to go to the project tab and select this python interpreter click the plus icon and here search opencv hyphen python this is our first library so select this and click install package i have already installed so it is in the blue color you can see that it is installed that is why it is in the blue color if you have uh, not installed, select this and click install package. After that, you install media pipe. Media pipe, select this and click install package. After that, install pi auto GUI. Select this package and install the package. After installing these libraries, Close this window and click OK. Now we can code this. We need to import these libraries first CV2, Media Pipe SMP, Pi Auto GUI. Now we are going to open our webcam. This is the first step. We are going to create a variable of webcam. Webcam is equal to CV2 dot video capture. Of zero. So video capture function will capture the video and uh, the object name is webcam. We need to provide 0, 1, 2 like this. This is the uh, number of uh, webcam. If we have one webcam, we have to provide 0. If we have more than one webcam, we can access the webcams by giving 0, 1, 2 like that. Uh, we can select our webcam. After capturing this, we have to show the captured image in the window. For that, I am going to uh, use a while loop. While true. This means if the webcam is capturing properly, if this works fine, then uh, the control will come into the while true. We are going to capture the image. For that, we are going to use the webcam.read function. This webcam.read function. This is our webcam object and read is our function. This function will uh, capture the image from the webcam and give it to us. 
Now we need to capture this in a variable. So this function will provide two variables. The first variable I don't need that is why I am giving a underscore and the second variable is my image. So we have two variables the image contains our captured image. Now we are going to show this image into the into a window. I am show this function will show the uh, video as a in a window. First we need to provide a title. Python. This is the title and the window and the image that is we captured we need to pass it here image. But we have a captured image and showing it but it should be uh, continuously uh, loop through the while loop. So uh, we need to provide a wait function for that I am going to use wait key. So this function will wait for 10 milliseconds. I need to put CV2. This function will wait for 10 milliseconds and then again it will go to the while loop and start capturing the image. So we will we can see a continuous video. Now we will run the project control S. Yes. Now we can see our uh, camera here but I cannot close this window. Even if I close it continuously showing it is showing our uh, heading hand volume control using python but I cannot uh, close this window. For that we need to capture the key and uh, so I am not I have not closed this window so I am just uh, continuing the code. I am going to save the key that is press the key as key is equal to cv2 dot wait key if key is equal to 27 that means if we have pressed 27 that is escape key then the loop should break uh, we need to close the window for that uh, if we press the 27 webcam dot release this function will leave the webcam and uh, we need to close the window cv2 dot destroy all windows this function will close all windows now we can save the project and run this project control s run this so the project is already running so we need to press it will say run volume control rerun so we can see the symbol rerun stop and rerun now we can see the webcam i press the escape key so it is closing now we have completed our first step now we are going to use this media pipe library to capture our hands now i am going to create two objects my hands is equal to mp dot that is the media pipe dot solution start hands dot hands then we are going to create drawing utils is equal to mp dot solutions dot drawing utils so we have created two objects to capture our hand group to draw points in our hand now we are going to draw some points in our hand. Then only we can identify the fingers to control the volume. For that we need to convert the image as BGR to RGB. The captured image in BGR format. Now we need to convert it to RGB format. RGB image is equal to CV2 dot CVT color. Here we need to pass our image, image comma, and CV2 dot color underscore BGR to RGB. This function 
will convert the BGR image to RGB image. After that, we need to process the hand. For that, we are creating a variable called the output. It's equal to my hands. This is the variable. My hands dot process. And we are passing the RGB image inside this process function. Now we are going to draw points in our hands. Uh, we are going to collect all the hands. This function will collect, if there is more than one hand, it will collect all the hands. So we need to collect the captured hands. I am creating a variable called hands is equal to output from this data output dot multi hand underscore landmarks multi underscore hand underscore landmarks now we have collected all the hands from this function and all the hands are there in this hands variable from this hands variable we are going to draw points for all hands if hands that means if there is hands available in this variable then we are going to capture all hands for hand in hands this for loop will pass hands one by one to this hand variable from this hand variable we are going to draw the points drawing utils dot draw landmarks this function will draw the landmarks of the hands inside this we need to pass the image that is captured image in this image only we need to draw the image uh, landmarks image comma hand this hand now we can see the output it's uh, very simple i have created my hands uh, using the hands dot hands mp dot solutions and drawing utils object then uh, we have uh, captured all the hands and for each hands we are going to draw the landmarks run this function now i am showing my hands uh, it is not showing any points press escape i am show function after drawing the landmarks cut this function and put it after the drawing utils function file save save this program and run this program now we can see the uh, landmarks in our hands now i am showing both my hands uh, we can see landmarks in both hands press escape now what we are going to do is now we are going to use the thumb finger and forefinger to control the volume for that we are going to capture the finger points after this drawing landmarks we have to collect the finger points landmarks is equal to hand dot landmark so from this we are collecting all the landmarks the toy hand from the landmarks we are going to collect the landmark for the forefinger and the thumb finger the is forefinger landmark number is 8 before that we need to collect all the ids for id come on landmark in enumerate of landmarks here we are collecting all the landmarks from the hand as id and landmark uh, we are going to check if the id is 8 that is our four finger if id equal to 8 that means our four finger for the four finger we are going to draw a circle 
cv2 dot circle we are going to draw circle in the image img is equal to image and then center point is equal to x comma y we need to capture this x comma y before uh, drawing a uh, circle here after getting the id we need to collect the x and y x is equal to landmark dot x comma y is equal to landmark dot y here we need to show the landmark according to the frame width and height so we are multiplying this with frame width and frame height frame height and then we are converting the, this to integer then only we can draw circle now we need to get the frame width and frame height to get the frame width and height we are going to use our image frame height comma is equal to image dot shape shape function now we are using those uh, width and height to identify the x and y now we have captured uh, the x and y and we have drawn the circle to the forefinger like this we are going to draw one more circle copy this and paste it once again if id is equal to 4 that is our thumb finger so before uh, in this circle we need to pass the radius color and thickness we have only given the image and center point and then radius is equal to 15 or 8 and color is equal to zero two fifty five and two fifty five comma and Thickness is equal to 3. So, the same thing we are going to do here. Center we have given. Copy this. And paste it here. So, we need to pro I am going to give some other color. BGR color. This is B, blue, green and red. So, I am going to use red color for this. So we will check it. Control S to save and run the project. So we have some error image dot shape. So we have to provide one more uh, variable here. So depth also height width and depth it is not need but uh, we need to provide an underscore control yes and run this project so just give the um, shape not the bracket control yes run this now i am going to show my hand see now we can see the hands with the uh, four finger and uh, thumb finger with uh, two points. Now I am going to show this hand. So now uh, we can see this the hands with four finger and thumb finger with uh, colors. Now we are going to use this method. If we increase this, the volume should get increased. If we decrease like this, the volume should get decreased. 
Before that, we need to draw a line between these two points. So that we are going to do it right now. Press escape to close this window. We need to create four variables x1, y1, x1 is equal to 0 and y1 which is also is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 0 and y2 all four variables are equal to 0. Now we are going to provide the values for these uh, variables. If we have the id 8, we need to provide the x1 and y1. Drawing a circle and save the point as x1 and y1. x1 is equal to x, y1 is equal to y. And at the same time, we are storing these points, the thumb fingers points as x2, y2. x2 is equal to x y2 is equal to y. We have stored the, the x2 and y2. Now we are going to draw a line after capturing these points. cv2 dot line image comma the first point is x1 comma y1 and the second point is x2 comma y2 and the color is 255 the color is BGR blue green and red so we are going to draw it in green color blue green and red is 0. Next thickness is 5. File, save. Run this project. Now we can see the lines between the. So we can see a line like this. So we can use uh, any one of the hands to do this work. Now we have uh, our line drawn. Now we need to increase or decrease the volume according to the, our, our fingers movements. So for that we need to calculate the distance. Distance equal to, equal to. So to calculate the distance we are going to use the mathematical function. We are going to use the function x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square square root. First we are going to calculate the x2 minus x1 the whole square. x2 minus x1 the whole square. Double star, double star is power whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square y2 minus y1 the whole square y2 minus y1 the whole square double star 2 we need to provide square root for this whole bracket double star 0 0.5 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 square root and this value may be between 0 to 100 so uh, we need to divide this value by 4 we need to divide this uh, by 4 because uh, uh, the distance between our two fingers will be 0 to 35 so we are dividing this by 4 so we have uh, calculated the distance now we are going to check if the distance is above 50 if distance is greater than 50 that means we have our hands uh, our fingers with a dip, uh, high uh, distance then we need to increase the volume pi auto gy 
dot press we are going to use this function to increase the volume volume up else why auto gui dot press volume down this function will increase or decrease the volume now we can see the output else we put a colon here save this control s now i am going to run this program now i am going to so the hand i am going to increase my hand so my computer is little bit slow so i'm going to change little bit press escape so for hands so we are calculating this uh, distance for hands for every points we are calculating this for every landmarks so we need to change this for um if there is hands then only uh, then we can find that for that just move this two taps like this so we will not so now it will not calculate uh, for every points landmarks it will not calculate this function file save and run this now i am showing my hand so now it is uh, showing properly so the image is uh, i am rotating my hand this side but it is uh, rotating the opposite side so we need to flip the image press escape we need to flip the image then only we can see uh, the hands properly after capturing the image i am converting the image is equal to cv2.flip image comma the direction is 1 0 means x axis 1 means y axis that means uh, we are flipping through the y axis save and run the program now i can see properly yes i'm showing my hand like this i can see my hand like this so now i'm increasing decreasing the volume we can see the volume is decrease and increasing the volume so now we can see the volume is getting increased volume level is 70 80 100 now i am decreasing it so it is also decreased now i am increasing it it is increasing so if it is enough we can move our hand now i play one video and uh, show this i am going to give you a name now i have opened our video one of our uh, sanyu projects world video now we can see the volume now yes. i am going to use the hands you need to capture the image from the webcam so this is the webcam object we are we are going to use the ray function to capture the image so we will give two values we need the image the first value and the second one is the image so under image and underscore and the second one is our image so we are now we have successfully completed our project so the volume control using python hand volume control using python press escape 
now try this project yourself if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment and if you have completed this project using this code give a comment that i have successfully completed the project that will be happy for me to create more videos like this and if you like this video please please press the like button and if you think this video will be useful for your friends please share this video for your friends i will be posting more project videos like this if you want all these videos please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get immediate notification when we project when we post a new project video thank you for watching thank you very much